Okay, you guys have your big money goal for this year. And first week, you had your budget laid out. But now two weeks in, your budget is busted. They'll look over to your spouse, and they don't really seem that bothered. Today, I'm going to share three reasons why your spouse hates your budget and how you can win them over. Welcome back to Marriage and Money Tips. I'm El Martinez, creator and host of Couple Money, a personal finance site focused on getting you guys on the same page, dumping debt, and building wealth together. So today's marriage and money tip is absolutely crucial for that. Because if you guys aren't on the same page with your budget, it's going to be that much harder to dump the debt and build wealth. In fact, when you're excited about the budget and your spouse isn't, it's really discouraging and it can sabotage your finances. So why do couples struggle with getting on the same page with budgets? Well, the bottom line that I found between our personal experience and talking with other couples is that that spouse, your spouse, doesn't feel like it's their budget. They feel like this is something that you came up with they may have nodded yes, but they really don't feel like they're a part of this budget, a part of this plan. So we're going to go into three reasons why they're being reluctant or they might actually hate your budget and how you can fix that. The first reason is they're not on board or they don't know the why behind your budget. Sounds pretty simple, right? We are getting out of debt. Wouldn't life be so much better? Getting out of debt can be fantastic, but it's not really a motivation. It's a milestone. So when you're talking with your spouse, have you talked about what your life would be like after the debt's paid off? Maybe one of you want to start a business, perhaps you want to travel, or either one of you want to stay home with the kids more so you have more time as a family. You know, every couple has their own why, their own motivation, but we don't always talk about it. So sit down, chat with them, see what's important, and see if you can get on the same page with your why. It can be an absolute game changer. The second one is they don't agree with your timetable or intensity with this budget. You know, we all have great ideas about getting out of debt. I'm the type of person that once I see the reason and I know this is the best thing for my family, I want to go 120%. My husband is a different personality. He's more thoughtful. He wants to weigh the pros and cons. And both are fine. But when you're fighting each other versus looking at it and finding a common ground, that's when you get into difficulties. So let's look at your budget. Are you making a budget that's unrealistic, not only to your current finances, but your current relationship and circumstances? I interviewed Tony Husbands. She's the creator of Debt Free Divas. But years ago, her and her husband were over $100,000 of debt, and it was not the mortgage. They knew that they had to get out of debt, but they couldn't agree on the why. And so they were going at it different speeds and it could have caused huge tension, but they did work it out. I'll share a link right over here to the podcast so you can hear their incredible story. But the big takeaways was that the family budget, they found a common ground that they could agree with. And what Tony did is on those individual areas like eating out, family activities, outing, since she was in charge of those, she would find ways to save money. And then as they were having wins, as things were going well, leading by example, her husband got on board. So that can make a huge difference if the two of you are not agreeing on the budget. Find that common ground and then you take the lead. This isn't nagging, this isn't lecturing. Again, you're a team, work together on this. And finally, this last one is tricky because it might not be obvious, which is you haven't picked the right goal for the two of you. 
you created this budget because you're really excited about this goal, but your spouse isn't. And the story that this makes me think of is an interview I had with Lindsay about what she and her husband, Zach, had went through. I have the link right up there. But they had just gotten married. They were doing okay financially. And they thought, okay, now that we're married, it's time to buy a house. And they bought a house and it turned out to be the wrong decision for them. You can hear the whole story on the podcast. But the gist of this is they did what they thought they wished they should do versus what was best for them sitting down and talking about their situation and their finances. So you guys might be thinking of buying a house, but the area you live in, it just doesn't make sense. The numbers don't make sense. Or maybe you can't afford to buy a house and your friends are pressuring you, but it's not the right choice because you guys have other goals that are more important to you. So there you guys have it. Those are three reasons why your spouse hates or just isn't on board with your budget, but you have three ways you can work with them, talk with them, and hopefully persuade them and get on the same team with money. As always, if you have any questions, please email me at l at couplemoney.com. And if you too are ready to knock out a big goal, but you're having a hard time finding the money to do it, please sign up for our free course, Five Days to 5K. It will help you learn how to find, save, and earn extra money without getting a second job or living on rice and beans. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.